So now we will learn how to optimize a WordPress post. But before that, let me remind you that search engine optimization for a blog post and a WordPress page is exactly the same procedure. To do that, we first have to install a plugin. Let us go back to the dashboard and hover on to plugins and click add a new. These plugins are the extra pieces of code to extend the functionality of our WordPress. So this is the complete repository of WordPress plugins and you can scroll through all these categories, this featured, popular, recommended, to scroll through all the plugins provided by WordPress. But if you want to install a specific plugin for which you have a name, then simply you can type in the name here and the one which I want to install is Yoast SEO. So based on my search query, this plugins panel is showing me all these plugins and I want to install this Yoast SEO. So I'm going to click install now and wait for the installation to complete. And now it is asking me to activate it so simply click activate so here is the list of plugins I have installed and activated and as you can see Yoast SEO is also now installed and activated so to optimize a blog post simply hover on to post field and click all posts so here are all the posts I have created on my blog till now and to optimize any post for search engine simply hover onto the post and click edit. So here we are landed into our post editor and if I scroll down you'll see that Yoast SEO settings are now added to the panel and the first option is the snippet preview. This is snippet preview displays how our post will gonna look like in the search engines and to edit that simply click this edit a snippet button and you'll see some new settings will pop out and if I change this SEO title if I put in some text here you'll see that the title in the snippet has also changed so if you want to change that keep entering the title and to keep it to default simply remove whatever you've put in here the next option is the slug. This slug is basically the URL extension of the link of your blog post. It is shown in this green color in the search engines. And to change that simply put in a hyphen in place of a space in your link. So I'm going to put that a hyphen for a space followed by the text. As you can see, the link is also changed. To keep it to default, I can simply remove this. Alternatively, you can scroll back to the top and edit the permalink from here. As I've edited that, so I'm going to click OK. And if I scroll back down, you'll see the slug is automatically changed and the next field is the meta description as you can see right now the snippet is displaying some text automatically here and it is actually imported from the beginning of my blog post and I recommend you to set the meta description using the content at the beginning of your blog post because the first paragraph of your blog post is supposed to be the introduction of the blog post and the subject you are writing about. It should include all the keywords and details about your subject. So I'm gonna copy this and paste it there into the meta description field. So if I paste it here you'll see the snippet is now showing this text. Moving on the next field is the focus keyword. This focus keyword is supposed to be a unique keyword for every post or page you write in your WordPress website. 
and to enter a focus keyword we first have to identify it so simply go back to the top and let us see so here I have written this post about keyword targeting so this phrase keyword targeting is there in the post title it is there in the first paragraph of my blog post and it is also there in the heading of my blog post so make sure whatever focus keyword you are choosing you should include it about six to eight times in your blog post so I'm gonna copy that and scroll back down and enter it here as you can see based on my focus keyword the your settings are now showing me some analysis of how my keyword will work in the search engines these instructions preceding with green circles are a good sign and the one with these orange circles are not so we have to work on these instructions one by one so if I take this fourth one it is showing the page title is too short so let us work on to that let us extend the post title so if I extend the title so I've extended the title and if I scroll back down you can see that fourth instruction is now disappeared so you can work upon the rest of the instructions accordingly and if I change this tab this was all about the keyword and the snippet and if I change this tab to readability this will show how my post will gonna look like to the readers of the post as you can see the first instruction preceding with this red circle is showing me 30.8 percent of the sentences contain more than 20 words so it is not a good practice to write long sentences so we have to work on this instruction and by clicking this icon here this I if I click on that it will show me all the sentences which are really really long for the human readers so I have to work on those sentences we can change these sentences we can make them short we can divide them and after that your readability will get improved so you have to work on each of these instructions accordingly and now we have optimized our post for search engines so simply go back to the top and click update